pressure. Um, because the pre I mean, for, like I've, I'm a firm believer in pressure makes diamonds. You know, it's, it's where you rise to the top and you do some of your best book, best work in whatever aspect of life you've chosen to follow your path. So for me, it's that because there, there's a lot of pressure to get these characters right, but at the same time, I, I try and kind of put that to one side and do what we need to do on, on set. You know, I wasn't hired to be like a, a public icon or a, like a, a figure of any way. I was hired to be an actor and try and portray this character as best I can, and that's what I do. And that's sort of the advantage and the disadvantage of having something that comes from a book series, is because you have such a rich base from which to draw, and there are people out there that are excited about your work, but there are also people that have such strong opinions about what each of us is going to be bringing, from our physicality to the way we dress and the way we move and the way we bring these characters to life emotionally. So it's, it's all about finding that balance and being able to to uh, honor the books and, and what people love about them, but also bring our own sort of perspective and our own artistic experience to them. Honest answer? I didn't, I don't, you don't know. I don't know. I didn't know. Because I, I fell in love, I thought it was a really cool world. I thought it was a really awesome character. And then it, I think it's a testament to like what everyone else brought from, from the crew, the writers, to the other actors brought into this and also with with um, with the books and having an incredible foundation but also you know you can't make it exact same thing because at the end of the day it's like why why not just leave the books as they are you know so if you're trying to put a different uh, uh, put it on a different medium you kind of have to bring your little bit of, of your own pizzazz or some experience so that was uh, really surprising to me because you, you, you like you know when you get on a show you're like I hope it's good you know and I hope everyone does their part and, and it and it's been uh, exceeding my you know expectations it's been awesome. We all felt the pressure of coming into a series that had such an established fandom with such an established world um, already an incarnation of each of our characters that happened in a, in a movie um, but we couldn't really concern ourselves with what the masses wanted because then we would lose what we really needed to look for and that was finding each of those characters within ourselves and that was the best we could do and hopefully that was going to be good enough and thankfully it seems as though the fans seem very supportive with our choices and who we've brought to the screen and um, if we're really lucky to, that because of the fans we got a season two and yeah, a chance and I, to keep exploring. I love the fact that the fans from the books they don't know what's going to happen next yeah. so they're like intrigued about everything that's happening and I love that it's like going on a on an adventure with your favorite characters, you know, the altered, uh, altered universe. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, I think it's so cool. And as a fan of like Star Wars or yeah. all these things, I, I love to see like these different things that happen. We learned that, I learned that sort of the day of just the, the level of enthusiasm that exists for this show and for this series. Uh, my girlfriend actually had figured it out prior to me going to California to test, and uh, she sort of texted me afterwards and said, do you have any idea what you're getting yourself into? <laughs> I've been Googling. It's insane. Yeah. Things are going to be insane if you book this. And then I booked it, and she was accurate. <laughs> yeah. And then she became one of those insane fans. Yeah, and then she jumped right on board and read all the books and is like, you know, tweets along with us and watches the show and yells at me for things Alec did. Like there's some, some, I have to, I look at her and I'm like, what, are you serious? <laughs> and the cast is no gimme. You know, Luke Garraway, sounds like a white Irish guy to me. You know, here comes Isaiah and everybody goes, great, I love Isaiah's Luke. I'm not kidding. You know, Alberto, okay, what's going on, Alberto, my Simon is so special to me and, you know, people give you the gladiator scale. They're like, maybe, maybe, and they're very eager to go, no. And with our cast, all across the board, yes. So that that is the great success, I think, of season one, the cast. Thanks, buddy. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>
I just get into character and Izzy could do anything and everything. So that's what, what I do. You know, I don't think about how much my feet hurt. I don't think about how uncomfortable it is. I just think about doing it because I know how much fans love this character and she's kind of like a superhero, you know, yeah. she has, uh, you know, special powers and she has to do it, you know, it's, it's what she has to do. I decided who, based off, you know, what I read about Alec, I decided on who Alec was going to be and then I just sort of stuck with it and I think what's good is that I sort of I, I'm happy with the choices I made early on because uh, they ended up playing in my opinion they, they played well and I, I'm happy I didn't have to sort of change up my approach you know halfway through that would have been a disaster so yeah it was a lot of you know reading who he was and trying to get the sense of this this young man yeah. For me, it was kind of bringing that rock star quality. I mean, this guy is a rock star, you know? He's a rock star. Imagine if a rock star got to live 400 years and, and the, the, the great things and also terrible things that they would get into. But, you know, I think we have room to, to kind of go into this backstory. Obviously, that has a lot of it has been written out, whether it be if you look at the Bane Chronicles and also there's a lot of in between the lines that could be explored. So for me, it's 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 what would a rock star really kind of go through? And, and you know, we see him at, at, at put him on a pedestal, but at the same time, they're they're in pain. You know, they go through hardships, they go through heartbreaks, and also they they put on the heartbreak. So. That was uh, really fun to kind of dig into and, and see what we can bring from Magnus' perspective. It was, um, well, that's a deep, it was, at that moment, I, I had, I, I'm glad I read the books because I feel like I wouldn't have understood Simon. And the hardest thing for him that we see in book two is when he can no longer say the name of God and he wants to pray, but he can't. Remember, that was, and for me, that was that moment in the graveyard, that moment where he lost everything that he used to be. So it was like, it was a loss of innocence, essentially. It was that first moment where you realize, like, oh, I'm in this alone. And it was a very, it's a very scary place. And I feel like some people go through it in a different way, but Simon, unfortunately, got it in a way where his life was changed completely. And yeah, it was very hard. take them into account a lot when we're in the writing room because we're saying what are the moments from these books that they're dying to see and then how do we get there in a way that they won't expect because the books exist everybody can read the books and we're trying to go how do we get to certain things that and then maybe make the fans feel oh they're not going to do it they're not going to get there and then get there that's what we're trying to do you respond you talk back to fans but everyone's going to have an opinion and we live in a world right now where all the opinions are being put in the public display, you know, and and you gotta you gotta you gotta accept that. You gotta accept that people love it. You gotta accept that people might hate it. You gotta accept that people might feel either way. But what's been really great to see is people to to see tweets or to see people say like, I was so mad and I hated it, and then like now I like love yeah, it. Yeah, those are those that's, are good ones. That's that's what makes me happy, you I know, like because yeah, you're gonna feel a certain way when you have an expectation of something, and then. You know, when you keep watching, hopefully that changes. As a book fan, we know that the second book, everything leads up to like the third book, right? And then it starts over again in the fourth to the sixth. So we've kind of started that trajectory. And then the end of the season, which we'll see, really kind of, to me, ramps it up. And then I'm really excited to see where they take us in season two because of where we go. Yeah, it's very exciting. Uh, when Emerod and I were both pronounced, uh, I received, uh, I received like a, a Facebook message from a girl from Argentina who wrote me a long thing how she'd always dreamed of being an actress and then how for the first time in her life she feels that her dreams could come true because she saw Emerald and I, Latin people, get the roles that were written for Americans. And it was the first time that it wasn't, he didn't say Izzy, Latina, this and this, it didn't define her, it was just part of who she was. And the same thing with Simon and that was the best part, to know that because of us, 
other kids feel that their dreams are now able to be accomplished. That was that was definitely. And especially me. right now with everything that's going on, mm-hmm. you know, with the Latinos and what people are talking about, I think it's a it's a, a huge responsibility, you know, to do a great job, to be uh, good yeah, role models, yeah, yeah. and to leave the door open for people that want to continue the acting path or any other career that they want to accomplish. Yeah, through hard work and anything, yeah. you can do it. It doesn't matter. What you're hard work, dedication, passion, preparing yourself. Yeah. I mean, like, I, again, you know, it's I'm like, my my girlfriend's on set most of those days, and it's not it's not awkward or it's not uncomfortable because no. I'm feeling what Jace feels in that moment, and they call cut and it's done. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, it's not, and it's it's tough because because they released that behind the scenes video of the kiss, and fans didn't like it, and I, I'm it's tough for me to say because I'm like, well, we're not in a relationship. No. You know what I mean? I'm not. I'm also not half angel. I don't have a sword that glows. Yeah. I genuinely don't think demons exist. Like I don't, I don't think demons exist. You know what I mean? So it's tough for me to be like, I'm sorry. I want to keep this romance alive as much as possible, but mm-hmm. within the show, and that's it. That's all it is. I'm an actor. Like right. that's. I'm not like. I don't want someone to bump into me on the stream. Like, oh my god, I can't believe your brother and sister, but also jump over this building. Like. So I think I can do. Exactly. You know what I mean? And, and we were friends before the show, so yeah. that the ice was already broken. We already there's already a trust and already an established. You know, we, we know each other, so it's fine. And I'm friends with Sarah, and like everything is all good. But it's it's like Dom said, we're actors, we're playing roles. It's not us. Sorry to everyone who didn't yeah. want that to be the case. Sorry. I apologize. Sorry. We're we're on the same side as the fans. We're like, all right, come on, tell us. <laughs> like, come on, we need to know what we're doing. But um. We know that it's going to be very exciting, and the way that they want to build the story, it seems like they're really going to want to open it up and have a lot of fun, and that's what we're here for. We're excited. Uh, you know, also when you finish season one, you get a moment to reflect and go, "What did we do right? What did we do less well? How can we improve that and be more sensitive and just be better? We want to be better with the visual effects. We want to be better with the storytelling. We want to be better with the performances. I want to be better as a director. You, you never ever rest and say we're good enough. You always want to outdo your last effort, and I. I hope the fans can feel that because it comes from a place of really, really wanting to hear and respect what we're trying to do week in, week out. Right, Isaiah? I agree.